Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon Z9 and Canon R3. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon Z9 and the Canon R3 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 29th of October 2021 and the 14th of September 2021. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon Z9. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon R3. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon Z9 and the Canon R3. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon Z9. And here are some sample photos from the Canon R3. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon Z9. As a longtime Nikon user, I was interested in the potential of better autofocus with the Z9 for capturing photos of moving objects. The camera allows me to capture a higher number of keepers under various scenarios with similar camera settings compared to the Z6II. The 8K video functionality is cool, but I am more interested in the internal 10-bit H265, ProRes, ProRes RAW, and 12-bit NRAW. The camera is heavier than the Z6 II but has a lot of customization options and works well with SanDisk and Lexer CF Express cards. I have been able to shoot over two hours of continuous footage in one take. Overall, it has been a great camera for both photo and video work. I never imagined spending so much on a camera, but it was worth it. The photos it takes are incredible, with stunning colors and clarity. Here's what people have to say about the Canon R3. This camera is amazing. It's extremely fast, the dynamic range is impressive, and the autofocus, including the eye tracking, is spot on. Plus, it's lighter and doesn't hog memory like my other camera. Highly recommend. The camera is a battery hog, and I've had focus issues with it. Canon's email support was not very helpful, and the eye focus doesn't work well with glasses. I have resorted to using tracking with zone for better results. My previous camera, the R6, performs much better in terms of battery life and tracking birds. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon Z9, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. Canon R3, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10.